I'm here with uh, Ben Sabi, composer, performer, and we're going to play a little music for you guys. We're going to talk about music. We're going to geek out on music. So if you're really into geeking out, this is the place to be, but not too geeky so it's awkward or weird, right? Um, it could get weird. Hopefully it'll get weird. great piano teacher growing up and yeah. she um, made improvisation a part of our regular curriculum so, so I you was, were studying Bach and you were doing yeah I was you playing were, Mozart were, yeah. and doing the standard repertoire but and then but she'd be like go she had the well she had the foresight to make that an integral part of our lessons and I had group lessons with other students yeah and she had a number of pianos in her studio and we would choose like a category, like a color or a mood or sometimes like a sport or something like that. And then everybody would have to pick something from that category and improvise. And then everybody else would try to guess what they were portraying. And so, uh, which is... A, yeah. Well, I'm just... I'm, first, I'm trying to imagine a group lesson on piano because I've had those on guitar. But a group <laughs> lesson on a piano with like five pianos, that's got to well, be really, Well, it was really, actually... That's uh, got to sound Ivesian. It, well, yeah, no, there were some Ivesian moments for yeah. sure. Yeah. Uh, but it, it was like theory lessons too. I had piano and theory. I had mm -hmm. a really wonderful piano teacher. She's, yeah. she's the reason why I'm sitting here today. I learned how to compose. I learned how to compose by just improvising. Right, and that's something own. that we've talked about too, like this idea that you use improvisation sort of to harness it. I know that you and yeah. I both have a love of Takamitsu. Yes. So the improvisational side brought into the compositional side. Yeah. Um, just knowing that I can sit down at an instrument and uh, ideas that I have can come through my fingers. I was just going to say one thing about <laughs> how I how I write music, which yeah. is um, it is always improvisation for me. Yeah, uh, see, that's what that, that was the interesting yeah. part that and I've heard you say that several times. Steve Adams was out here and different mm -hmm. different performers and, and talking about improvisation. And you talk about how you see improvisation as like essential to your composition yeah. process. Yeah, because I'm uh, it's always very hands on for me. I can never I can never approach composition from sort of an abstract viewpoint and I can't use like matrices or tone rows or hmm. a lot of pre I do I do sketch things out formally and stuff like that but um it basically boils down to improvisation and I feel um I do feel I would um I would never equate my abilities as a composer with this with this composer but I do feel a kinship with with Charles Ives in that sense that I feel like he was all about experimentation. Yeah. And there are some great recordings of him sitting at his piano, recording himself, playing and singing. And there are multiple takes where he's trying different things out. And postmodernism means that it's no longer a linear progression. It's away from center, wow. radiating in all directions. So toward the past is one valid. That's heavy. Direction of yeah. radiation. Yeah.
toward continuing on a straight path toward the future is another one, but then they're, it's uh, radically symmetrical in all yeah. directions. Yeah. the instrument so tell me the instrument uh, about okay. the instrument that you're playing today yeah so this is a moog sub 37 um it's a modern um descendant of the mini moog i think uh, um yeah i to tread lightly there'll be maybe some analog experts out there watching this and they'll write comments but yeah I, you'll get death <laughs> on, on, on social media uh, it's a beautiful <laughs> instrument um it's got the beefy Moog sound. Yeah. Uh, it's good for it's good for bass sounds, but it, I mean, it can make any kind of sound you can think of, really. Uh, and it's fun because you uh, feel like the sound is it's an analog sound, right? There's no there's no digits inside this. The sound is being made by an actual transistor, which um, I, somehow that makes it feel more real. And when you interact with it, you uh, have knobs and you have keys and you're yeah. not coding and you're not in front of a computer and yeah. um, it's fun because you you never know exactly or you often don't know exactly what's going to happen when you grab a knob and twist it and so there's there's a sort of improvisation inherent in learning the instrument and playing with it and finding the sounds that it can make and you know you can sit with it for hours and and days and weeks and then still feel like you could come in and suddenly discover something totally new that you didn't know it could do. idea of having uh, I'm, I'm playing analog synth and you yeah. wanted something more acoustic they're from really different sound worlds yeah and I'm a little bit concerned about how they mesh with each other uh, and since we're just playing together for the first time that's something we may talk about at some point but um, yeah and that's I mean that's the part the interesting part for me what what about improvisation is that you know it's it's constantly just a, it, it's really this process of us discovering stuff yeah you know? so you know I'll play a lot of stuff that is natural to me and you'll play stuff that's natural to you and at some point hopefully, at some point it'll, it'll fuse yeah, yeah we'll fuse together i think we're starting to find some of that yeah. stuff already yeah. with the sounds but yeah i like that idea of sort of a natural acoustic more acoustic world and the electronic world and it's a postmodern concept we got to get all this crap yep. down to the recital right, hall right because we're doing a we're, gonna we're gonna actually doing a concert tonight in, in like a little a little over an hour and a half not in a studio in front of actually so human beings yeah so so in other words let's Let's go play. <laughs> 